G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. In this video, what we're going to be having a look at is a way of adding two fractions together, uh, and that, or subtracting two fractions from each other, where we have different uh, denominators, different bottom numbers. So I'll show you how to do this. It's a really, really simple method. And this is the way I usually show my students at school. It saves a lot of hassle. So say, for instance, we have a fraction like this, a half, and we want to add to that a third. To do this really, really simply, this is what we do. Okay, so we hit equals, and I'll put that line there. And what we do is this. To get the bottom number first off, what we do is we multiply these numbers. So 2 times 3 is 6. Pretty easy, yeah? And then what we do is we start at the top left here, and we multiply this number by the diagonal here, okay? So it's diagonal bottom number here. So 1 times 3 is 3. We use the same sign, as a, which is a plus. Then we go over to the right number here, though, at the top, and we multiply this number by this number. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, equals. 3 plus 2 is 5. And we've got the bottom number as a 6. And there you go, we've got 5, 6. That's the easiest way of doing these, okay? Uh, so anyway, I'll put another one up. Hopefully you, you got that one. Alright, I'll, I'll get another another fraction. What about we go something a bit different? We'll go one quarter, and I'll put... What about something like two thirds? And that equals... Alright. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll get this pen here, and again, we'll work out the bottom number. We multiply these. Four times three is twelve. We get this number here, the top left, and we multiply it by this number, which is a three. Use the same sign, multiply this number by this one, okay? Two by four is eight. Eight plus three is eleven over twelve. Yeah, you get that? All right. I reckon a few more examples, because we'll go to do a few subtraction ones in a minute. Also, you'll notice with a few of these, uh, they're, they're, they're at their most simple. Um, and so a couple of these you can simplify a bit further. Uh, let's have a look. We'll see if we can get one. So what, what about if I add one half to three quarters? Hopefully this will work. And what we do is, again, you might give this one a go before I start. Yeah. You might have paused it and given it a go. Hopefully you did. So what we do is we go two fours, are eight. Start at the left. It's really important you start at the left, by the way. I'm not starting over here. I'm always starting over here, you'll notice. One times four is four. We use the plus. Three times two is six. Okay? So four plus six is ten. And then we get ten eighths. Now what you're going to notice first off is that we can simplify this further. Uh, so, let's do this. First off, we look for a number that goes into both of the top and the bottom. And you'll see straight away that number is 2. So we divide the top by 2, we get 5. We divide the bottom by 2, we get 4. We can still simplify this. This is, at the moment, what we call an improper fraction. We can turn it into a, proper, uh, into a mixed number, that is. And the way we do this is we go 5 divided by 4, because if this big, this top number is bigger than the bottom number, you can do this. 5 divided by 4 is 1, and 1 left over. We put that 1 over the bottom number, which is 4. Okay? I reckon another one. Okay. Hopefully these are not a problem, and hopefully you're picking them up really, really easy. I must say I've always wondered why they teach uh, fractions really difficult. Uh, difficult. I, I often get a, a lot of students come in and they've done fractions three or four times in different in their school career and they still don't get it. And, and it's actually a little bit annoying. I, I, yeah. So anyway, I will, I'll shut up and I'll keep going. So what about we do uh, three quarters and we multi uh, multiply. We are not going to multiply. We're going to add that to uh, a third. All right. What does that equal? Get the bottom number. Three fours. 12, start up here, 3, 4 is a 9, we go plus, 1, 4 is 4, we end up with 13, 3 plus 4 is, 9 plus 4 is 13, over 12. 
that we can simplify further because we have a this number here is bigger than this number and then so we divide 12 into 13 12 goes into 13 once one remainder 1 over 12 okay what about if we start with we, we could do the subtraction one okay what about that we do three quarters take away uh, what about a third okay it's the same sort of thing and this is where it becomes really important that you start in a second uh, in this top left in a little bit so first off we go four threes of twelve and this is where this bit becomes important you start over here nine threes uh, three threes are nine use the minus one four is four nine take four is five this goes over twelve we have our answer now just one little variation on this by the way um, I think this is a, a good thing to get but I might even um, I won't be able to do this straight away but I'll put a link up to this and this is where I'll be looking at how to if we get a question that looks like this um, say we have something like one and a half and we add that to two and a third okay and you're gonna notice now I'm not starting with simple fractions I'm starting with mixed numbers okay and we're going to be adding mixed numbers mixed numbers are where we have a whole number and a fraction together so the way we deal with this is we have to turn these into what is known as improper fractions it is a fraction where the big the number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom and the simplest way to do that is you get this number you times it by this number and you add it to this number and that will give you the number on the top I'll add that again to get the number on the top this times this plus this so 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3 the bottom number stays the same the plus stays the same again same process 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 and then the bottom number stays the same and then we treat it uh, like we were before okay bottom number what about we use red for this bottom number 2 3's a 6 okay we do these ones 3 3's a 9 we put the plus there 7 2's a 14 and then what we do is we add these guys together 23 and we put that over 6 now as you'll see again this number this is an improper fraction this number is bigger than this number so if we go 23 divided by 6 because this line here means divided by 23 divided by 6 goes 3 times because 3 6 is 18 we have 5 left over 5 and we put that over 6 I hope that was of some help anyway we'll uh, see you next time